Hello, hello, it's Jolene from The Best Vinyl Cutters and today I wanted to help you figure out how to download an SVG from the internet and get it onto Cricut Design Space if you have an iOS device. So we're talking iPad and iPhone here. So first of all, what we need to do is to go and find an SVG file. And to do that, we're just gonna hop onto Safari. Let me figure out where is my Safari button. There we go. And from here, we're going to try and find a free SVG. So free, I'm going to try and find a, um, what would I like, a unicorn SVG. Okay, and click on go. I'm gonna click over to images so I can very quickly see the different types that's available. So I have a bit of a browse and find something that you like the look of. I'm just going to pick something very quickly so that I don't have to waste your time too much here and click through to the website. See if you can find a download button. Sometimes you have to add it to the cart even though it is free and zero dollars and that's just so that they can get you to create an account. So look either for a download or an add to cart button. So here I've got my download zip file. And usually when you're downloading SVGs, it will be a zip file because you'll often find a few different formats in that folder. So they might give you a PNG or a JPEG so that you very quickly can see what the image looks like. They might give you an, um, they'll definitely give you an SVG because that's obviously what we searched for, but they might give you some other formats as well so that different types of cutting machines can use it. So Silhouette might like to use a DXF file, for example. So click on your download zip file and we're going to click on download. Now things get downloaded into your files folder, which looks like this. So this blue files folder. So click on that. On the left hand side, click on downloads, and this is where it's going to download. So you'll see I've got my unicorn water SVG cut file and it's in a zip format. Now it's in a zip format because it's got all of these files inside it and it's smaller this way, which means it's so much faster to download, which makes it easier for us. And from here, we need to unzip it so that we can separate out all of those files. So we click on it, we hold, and we click on this very bottom decompress so that we can make it bigger and we can see all the individual things inside. And now you've got this folder here, which is your folder and it's got all these things inside. So you can see it's got a DXF, we've got the unicorn um, SVG in a, whoops, as an image, right? We've got the actual SVG cut file and then we've also got a D um, dot EPS. So that will keep a lot of different people happy. We're just interested in the SVG cut file, which is this one that's got the blue rectangles on it. So now that we've done that, we can go to Cricut Design Space, we can go to a new project, we can go to upload here on the bottom, and we're going to browse files so that we can find it. So from here, let me see, it's on recent and it's not showing. So what I want to do is to go to browse on the bottom, go back into my downloads folder, and now I can see I've got my unicorn water SVG cut file here. Now make sure though, it's very inviting to pick this one that's got the image on it. But if we want to cut it, the best file is actually the SVG one, that's the blue rectangle folder, not folder, file. So click on that one, and give it a name. And now we just need to pull it into our canvas. So click on it, click on insert here on the bottom, and we now have our SVG inserted. Wow, that's so small. <laughs> there we go, make it a bit bigger. And we are ready to cut away. So there we go. That's where I'm going to love and leave you for this tutorial. If you would like to know more about what to do from here on, what, how to use the SVG, how to edit and all of those sorts of things, 
have a look at some of the other videos that we've got in our channel. I hope that was really helpful. It's so much fun getting hold of all of those SVGs from Google. There is just such an incredibly massive range. Even if you have to pay a few dollars for them, um, there are really, really beautiful ones out there. So it's a really, really handy tip to have in your pocket and to know how you can actually get them onto Cricut Design Space when you're on an iOS device. All right, that's it for today. See you later.